Hi YouTube, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video you can use to help our environment one yard at a time. Today I'm going to do uh, a video on one of my favorite shrubs. This is a uh, Sambucus canadensis. This is a native elderberry. This is a very vigorous, fast-growing shrub. This particular cultivar named John's, I just planted this last year. This is its first year here. It was just a little sprig that I got off the internet. And as you can see, it's like, you know, quadrupled in size. Uh, this is a this is a very uh, you know highly medicinal plant too. It's been the berries have been used to, for antioxidants. Uh, people use these they batter these and fry these up. I've never done that. Uh, this is also a great nectar source for butterflies and bees. Uh, as I mentioned earlier this is cultivar Johns. I got it next to a cultivar Adams and I uh, planted this one a few years ago. And uh, it's doing really well. This is, a, like I said, a very vigorous, fast-growing shrub. This is a shrub that can take wet spots. Um, I have some growing on another part of my yard that sits lower and gets it's a lot uh, more wet, heavy clay soil. But it's doing really good there. Uh, I've read, I've read and heard both that uh, and it takes two different cultivars to get a, a good berry set. So I'm hoping this year I get a little bit more berries. This shrub can get you know, ten to twelve feet high. Uh, I've seen this growing wild by the side of the road all over here in the northeastern part of Ohio, and uh, you know, I'm really excited about this. It also acts as a host plant for a number of different species of uh, moths and butterflies and sawflies. I've seen some sawfly caterpillars on here, but that's okay because uh, you know when you think of caterpillars and you think of butterflies, or when you think of caterpillars, sawfly larvae, you know, think of bird food. They're essentially bird food. And most bird species use caterpillars to rear their young on. So it's really important that we support pollinators by planting the plants they utilize. And also, you know, this is going to get berries on it. And, you know, this will provide a lot of uh, food resources for our native songbirds. It does have a fragrant flower. I'm going to pull this back here. It's a nice kind of sweet smelling fragrance. I really like the fragrance of this. There are some other uh, European varieties on the market. I think one of them is like black lace or something like that. Uh, but this is, you know, you want to buy Sambucus canadensis, our native elderberry. If you got a wet spot in your yard, if you got a place that you want to fill in quickly, I would highly recommend this plant. Thanks for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.